we get your attention for one minute, please? I wanted to honor uh, one of our fellow gold coaches, uh, Mr. Ron Tierpak and Terry Steiner, uh, who's had the opportunity to work with him for a few days. Um, he's going to do a little bit more of the presentation, talk a little bit about what Ron has meant to him, USA Wrestling, and to our program. So, Terry, please, thank you. Ron, why don't you come up? Okay, so I know this is no grand recognition, but um, I, I wanted to make sure, number one, you guys are all on the road and in the path to that gold certification, and you have a, a gentleman in front of you right now that has been to that status and went through what you went through. He's from the state of Pennsylvania, and so I thought there was no more fitting location and time to just thank Ron and recognize Ron for his years of service and commitment to the women's program. Um, and I'll just tell you a little, you know, some story behind it all. So I, again, I started in my position back in 2002 and, and probably at that time, Ron was looking in from the outside and, and he, and so in 2003, the world championships were in New York City. So I, and Ron hosted uh, the Japanese team um, uh, at your sinus, right? Right. At, your Sinus College and hosted them before the championships and and he probably just thought like, oh my god, they got Steiner in charge of this? We need a lot of help. <laughs> <laughs> so, so from that point forward, really, uh, you know, I don't want to get emotional, but um, <coughs> Ron has been that person for me, right? That, that sounding board, right? That person that I knew I could go to for just an honest answer, right? He wasn't gonna get bought into any kind of, you know, going one way or the other, but he was just a neutral, a neutral source that I could go to and had no agenda, but he was there to serve uh, our country, to serve the women's national program. And, and he's been there and he's been a great friend and a mentor and like a father to me for the last, <laughs> 21 years, right? And, and um, how do you recognize that? How do you celebrate that? How do you even put into words what that means? Okay? There's a one, one thing as a national team coach, right? The one thing you're always kind of looking over your back and over your shoulders is who can I trust, right? Who can I look to? Who can I lean on? Who can I uh, go to when I need help, right? And then he's been that person. and unselfishly right it's all been behind the scenes right it's all been nobody knows who Ron Turpak is right uh, because he's done it on phone calls he's done it in in the room so so back in 2003 he was how can I help well there's a million ways we can help right I mean and he's a servant leader and and I said Ron I need help with a video right if, if you want to help, help me with video. So from that point forward, he's been really our video person that gives me the video so I can, he can break it. He breaks it down first and then he gives it to me and, and we go through it together. And really giving me the breakdown not only of our international athletes, but of our domestic athletes, where I can go to our domestic athletes and like, after the world championships and say look you've you're giving up x amount of points in the first minute of the match x amount of points in the second minute of the match x amount of points in the third and fourth and fifth and sixth minute of the match we're suffering in in our defenses we're suffering in our rate of attack and our offenses right and that all comes from this gentleman right here giving hours and hours and hours of his time to serve the U.S. team, and you know they always say it, it. It takes a village, right? It takes so many people to raise them up. And it, like I've said er earlier yesterday, right? First of all, it starts in your hands, right? You're the ones raising these these athletes up to the level, and then they get passed on, and you pass them on unselfishly to the next level, to the high school coaches, to the college coaches and eventually they're making the international teams, right? And then they get passed on to us and we, we take them from there and do, and just tweak and, and do the little things, 
right? Where the credit belongs to so many others, right? And, and let me tell you, the success of the women's program, there's no greater person that has had the impact on this program than Ron Chirpak. So I just want to recognize him, and um, he's a gold certified coach. He's went through everything. He's forgot more about us than most of us will ever know, right? And um, thank you. This is uh, just a small token. We have a, a, a bigger award coming. It's on order and everything, but <laughs> didn't, they didn't get it done in time, right? <laughs> uh, but uh, just a little token of our appreciation, Ron. Thank you. Thank you. Carry on. Thank you. Ron wants to say something. Yeah, speech. I know who started that. Well, all the credit really belongs to Terry because when he took over, the women's program was in shambles. All right, we had won a couple tournaments fairly well, but uh, we had so many women on their own agendas without a plan to work forward from. Uh, Terry brought them all together. Some of them accepted it and did very, very well. And there were some other ones that uh, ended up uh, storming away that if you're not going to do it my way, then I won't wrestle for you. Fine, goodbye because we had more coming up and we were just talking about some of the young ones that are coming up now. I just finished uh, most of, of the last world championships going through each one of them. A number of, of the faces there I knew from being to the training center, but here again, I live in Pennsylvania and they're in Colorado. So I, I don't get out there as much, but I get to know their faces pretty well. Uh, and I've become very close to a number of the guys because the Greco teams would always practice right before the women. And uh, so I got to know a lot of guys in the Greco team. And uh, everyone has this desire to be better. And if you don't want to get better, you won't. And you can't, you can't emphasize that enough to the young ones. I mean, I've had wrestlers come to me and say, well, I just can't beat this guy. And I would say the same thing that my old coach used to tell me, then train harder. <coughs> uh, I was fortunate. I had a, a coach from the Republic of Georgia in the former Soviet Union. And there was no answer to anything except you're not working hard enough or do it more. And I remember I, I saw him not too long before he died and I was just out of college at the time and um, his wife told him he said Ron's here I said oh yes he's the smart one and I said smart one you all told me I was a dummy <laughs> and he said eh, I don't want to give you big head <laughs> and that was just him you know uh, I remember wrestling in the New York AC. And uh, I beat a guy who was a world champion. I didn't know it, but uh, I caught him in a cradle and I pinned him. And I went over him. My coach would always stand like this. I'd walk over and uh, coach would do it, look at him and say, not bad, but sloppy. <laughs> <laughs> coach, I just beat a world champion. <laughs> so, you know, I've always taken that to heart. Whenever I feel down about something, I just have to laugh about it. But when you see how hard our wrestlers want to win, how hard they're training, and the number of things that they go through, it makes you realize that anything you can do to help them really pales <coughs> in what they're doing and what they're showing everyone else. So I appreciate this reward very much. It will go, as Terry knows, when you walk down my cellar steps, 
which has on Turpac Wrestling Coach on the door, you walk down and there's a bookcase filled with uh, books on wrestling in about seven different languages, uh, knickknacks that we've picked up on many of our tours in different places in the world, and that will go right up there uh, among them. So uh, thank you, Terry. Thank you, USA Wrestling. And gentlemen, don't stop working. The goals at the end are so far beyond what you can think about now. And if it looks like uh, the door is going to be closed to you, do one of two things. Either kick it down or go to another door. But uh, don't become discouraged. Become discouraged, you become a basketball player. <laughs> Amen. Thank you.